What's good, Hurricks fam? Hurricks credit tapping in. Look, Hurricks fam, today I got a quick, very special video for y'all. So look, y'all, today we're going to be talking about how to get a high limit fast with no credit at all, okay, you guys? So if you're starting with a blank profile, the high, the fastest way you get a high limit, a 25K approval, is with an institution like Navy Fed, okay? I'm going to ask some other institutions right now that will build you up the high limit approvals, but let me break this down first, okay? If you guys want a high limit approval, the time frame, because I always get asked, okay, look, Horish, I got a fresh profile. I don't got nothing on it. I'm just 18. I'm starting to build my credit more to like the young people starting in the credit game. Some of you guys are like 20, you know, way above that. And you guys haven't started your credit at all. So with a blank profile, the way you do it is you start building a relationship with Navy Fed, okay? I know that's cliche. Everybody talks about Navy Fed, but they talk about them for a reason because other institutions, what I found, what I find is that it's harder for you to get a high limit approval off the jump in a fast time frame, okay? Navy Fed is probably the only institution that is willing to throw you 25K with just building a relationship with six months okay so you could get a high limit approval in just a six month time frame with something like navy fed okay we talking 15k approvals and up in a six month time frame that is unheard of if you try to build because a lot of credit gurus on this uh youtube platform and just in general when it comes to content creation they tell you guys hey look tap build a relationship with capital one get a little secure card 49 dollars i think is the minimum just build a relationship Trust me, that is unheard of to get a high limit approval with something like Capital One or any other institution. You build a strong relationship with that institution, it's going to take you years to get approvals that Navy Fed will give you. Years. I'm telling you guys, I will not lie to you. Some of y'all hit me up with good credit profiles and you guys have been building a relationship with Capital One for two years and still have a baby ass limit, a 2K limit because Capital One is so stingy when it comes to credit limit increases and shit. So I'm telling you guys, fastest way to get a high limit with a blank profile is building a relationship with Navy Fed, okay? If you want a 25K swipe, easy, Navy Fed. Six to eight month time frame, you already have that high limit reporting on your personal credit for business funding. So how do you do it? I always tell you guys, with Navy Fed, the easiest way to build a relationship that way in a six to eight month time frame to get a high limit, you just got to get something like the pledge loan. Open up a pledge loan. It's like you working with your own money. You set up the minimum 250. If you could put up some more bread, then that's even better. Okay, you guys. So you want to get that pledge loan, have that money deposited into your savings secure, call up a representative, tell them, hey, look, I want to open a Navy Fed pledge loan. I got the money already in my savings secure. You can pull that out, create an installment loan with my my money my collateral and you straight now you got an installment loan reporting and now you're building a relationship with navy fed okay but the more money the better also to pay off 90 percent of that uh pledge loan the reason why is because when it reports to your credit report the debt to income ratio is not that high you don't got a lot of debt reporting on your credit and then also too for the remaining of the months like a six month uh term that you got with that pledge loan set up auto pay for those six months but divide them by the payments you have to make throughout the month to still get those months. If you understand what I'm saying, like, let's say you open up the minimum 250 and you pay 90 percent. That's 190. Right. So you set up auto pay because you got a 60 dollar balance remaining. Remember, you're working with your own money, your own money. This money is never gone. It's going right back into your savings. So now you set up auto pay for ten dollars throughout them six months. Ten, 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 ten. Y'all get what I'm saying. You got that Navy Fed pledge loan. You got them deposits going in. Have deposits going in. If you got direct deposit with a job, set it up right there, right? Also, too, uh, around the same time frame, like I said, you building your credit from scratch, the only shit you're going to get approved for is something like secure credit cards, okay? So if you got some bread to put up, put it in your savings secure, put it in your secure credit card when they be fed. Build that relationship. Use the card. Pay it off. Use the card. Pay it off. I'm telling you, six months down the line. Uh, your credit card is going to graduate to cash rewards. It's going to be a 2K limit, right? That's a baby ass limit. But what I'm telling you is you guys around that six month time frame, you could still pre-qualify for a new credit card when they be fed. And if all the cards pop up, go for something like the platinum card because you already got the cash rewards. That's my favorite card personally because it has 0% interest when it comes to balance transfer for 12 months and no balance transfer fees. That's a good credit card on the personal side with a low interest rate. I'm telling you guys. That's the play you want to run with the Navy Fed. Now, my other method of getting a high limit approval right off the bat is 
well not right off the bat it's a six month time frame okay you guys i want to make that very clear you starting your your credit from scratch is a six month time frame to get some high limits already to roll on your personal credit okay you guys so look uh you've already built your credit profile with navy fed well if you got some money to play with the second method to get a high limit is you having some bread and depositing depositing it into secure credit cards something like bank of the west i always recommend bank of the west because they allow you to deposit up to 12k on that secure credit card when it reports on your credit it reports as a primary revolving account but remember when it reports it's a new account so you got to let it age on your report when you let it age for six months now you're ready for other swipes you're ready for more high limit approvals and if you got a 12k reporting on your personal credit what do you think these institutions are going to match you with around the same limits or higher because they already see that institution is taking the risk with approving you for a 12k swipe when they don't know that you just deposited it with your own money you get what i'm saying because it's not reporting as a secure credit card it's reporting as a revolving account another secure credit card the nih fcu secure swipe where you can deposit up to 25k if you got some money to play with i'm telling you you guys can get in the game with just six a six month time frame because let's say you mix in this sauce with the navy fed sauce right you started this shit at the same time you had some money to play with okay you started off with the um with a secure swipe with bank of the west you started with a secure swipe with nih fcu so now you, now you got a 25k approval right with um with the nih fcu because it's reporting as a revolving account and not a secure swipe and you got that bank of the west 12k swipe right and also two six months down the line now you have a 25k or a 15k and up approval with navy fed which is very common with a six month time frame you have high limits already reporting on your personal credit you have a high chance of getting approved for more high limit funding that will match you around the same limits or double because they've already seen institutions take the risk with approving you for similar limits okay this is how you run up a bag but like i said this is a more complex strategy because a lot of people don't got that much money to play with if you got some money to play with i know a lot of you guys that you know got some high paying jobs a lot of uh, old folks out there you know your mid-20s or your mid-30s you guys haven't started your credit at all but you got some money to play with okay this is the play to bust you got some money to play with get those two secure swipes deposit some money the maximum if you can now around the same time frame you build that relationship with navy fed six months down the line you get them high limit approvals with navy fed and you got these high limits already approving approved with nihfcu and bank of the west that's the play i want you guys to run if you got some money to play with now you got them high limits reporting now you can go for business funding and you'll get approved zero percent interest right it's not reporting to your personal credit the utilization is not reporting so you don't gotta worry you can invest off the swipes that's the play y'all have a good day to hood rich way gone